खुशी दास पहिरा धामाली दुठुकी तेउट कंदुल पुतान अष्टुतान मोंडोल उरिया खेमटा फ्रीरा जाति चोचोली प्यारी जुचुटी ब्रह्मता चाली जाति तंटो नंदन मुद्धम चुटता आरा खेलने वे वेरी पॉपुलर वांस दिस तालुस हैव लिटिल सिमिलरिटीज विथ क्लासिकल तालुस Pandit Bhat Khande traced the Dravidian influence as the Vaishnavas of Bengal had contacts with Dravidian Bhukti movement. In a Kirtan song, more than one tala may be used. In Manuhashahit style, we find 54 talas. In Gauran Hati, 108 talas. And in Renity, 16 talas. And in Mandarini, 9 talas. Today, these styles cannot be distinguished anymore. Now the complicated system has been simplified and it is a mixed form now. Rupchat Bokhi of the 18th century, formerly a famous Kathak, introduced a new style called Thok Kirtan, mixing Pala Kirtan with Baul and Bajan. The whole of Bengal was flooded with this new delighting style. Aghur Dash, Dadik Dash, Shem Dash, Manuhar Dash, Koiragi are to be mentioned as Dhok Kirtan artists. A Dhok Kirtan goes as Shem Shuk Nami Priyo Pakhi, Edeshe Eshe Chhe Ure, Sri Radhare Diye Thakhi. Madhushudan Kinnar of Kulushia village of district Jashur learned classical music in Dhaka and later got training from Radha Mohan Baul of Jashur. And these two styles have been blended in his compositions, beautiful. Thus, another sophisticated style was developed in Dhaka Kirtan with the favor of Pachali also. He had a professional group and used to travel to various places to propagate this style. He was popular among highly educated society and among ordinary people also. An example may be cited, Goki Kaj Bhushani Shan Darushani, Jara Nayon Bhushan Rup Darushan, Srugun Bhushan Vashirtan. Nearly 3,000 Vaishnava poets filled the treasure of Godavali during the last 500 years. Rabindranath Tagore says in the vision of religion of man, that a collection of old lyrical poems of the Vaishnava sex came to his hand when he was young. In the essay, The Religion of an Artist, published in the book Contemporary Indian Philosophy, edited by Dr. S. Radhakrishnan and Dr. J. H. Mohit in 1936, Rabindranath said that those poems were full of freedom of meeting and courage of expression. His Bhanushi Nirpadavali created in his boyhood days with the application of appropriate tune cannot be stamped as mere imitation, rather has been identified with the ancient creations as if merged with each other. The songs are equally parallel regarding both expression of deep feelings and beauty of Rajabuli language and jingle of meter used in them. Rabindranath has truly said that the great dramatic favor hidden in manifold ramification of Kirtan is really rare in classical music. The blending of words and melody has been compared by Rabindranath with the ortho idea. As the melody and the style of Kirtan began to be used in Rambu Samaj and theaters of Bengal, Kirtan spread more and more to different regions and fields. In a great number of Tego songs, the influence of the style of Kirtan is noticed, which may be divided into two, with Akos composed by himself and without Akos. He avoided the existing complicated melodies and talas and the particular system of Tal Kirta of Kirtan. He also applied the Kirtan style in some Brahmashangi, seasonal songs, comedy songs, and many songs for his music dramas and dance dramas. With the help of Sri Shachandra Majumdar, Rabindranath compiled in Padur Ratnavali the works of 20 Vaishnava poets. In the medieval period, beside Vaishnavism, Shakta was another strong stream of religious faith in Bengal. The Shakta poets expressed their religious feelings through their Mongol Kapu. Shakta religion is followed mainly in the eastern region of India. 
Shakta Padavali began to be composed centering goddess Shama. From the end of the 17th century, an influence of Vaishnava Padavali is noticed in Shakta literature. In some places, Kali and Krishna have been integrated into one whole. Shakta Padavali may be divided into two, spiritual or philosophical, and another is parental love-oriented, Uma Shangir, Agamani Shangir, or Vijayarkam. In the latter, the social life of Bengal is reflected. The lyric is very simple, but the meaning and feeling are very deep, filled with cordiality and sincerity. The great Shakta poet Ram Prashad, born in 1720, may be called the pioneer of Shakta Padavali. His songs are pervaded with simple emotions, appeal, love, touching sentiments, and offering of one's own self. The books Bhita Shundur Kapo, Krishna Kirtan, and Kali Kirtan are his contributions. The king of Nodia awarded him the title Koviranju. Ram Prashad addressed the extreme power Shakti as daughter or mother. His famous song is Montumi Krishi Kat Janana, Amun Manov Jomin Roilo Koti, Abad Kurle Kulto Shona. We find the influence of Ram Prashad the tune on the patriotic song of Rabindranath. Amra Mile Chi Admaer Dake, Mile Chi Admaer Dake. Saint poet Kamala Kanto was the court singer of the King of Burdwan. As Ramrashid was lost himself in ecstasy, Kamala Kanto was a self restrained and self confident artist. His songs are melodious, jingling sound. In his pleasant, graceful, tranquil expression, Vaishnavism is much more prominent than the bold, challenging style of Ramrashid. One of his songs is Amar Mahatwang Hitara. Tumi Trigunodhara Parathpara. We know that the Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsade and Shami Vivekananda, the great Shakta Bhaktas, preached their religious faith of humanism through music. They were most Catholic in religious persuasion and held that there were as many viable ways of worship as diverse faiths practiced by devotees of God. As it is known to all, Narendranath had exceptional talent for music. He was not only a great performing vocalist, but a composer, a critic, as well as a compiler of songs. He compiled Bengali songs in the Shangit Kalpaturu. He could sing various types of songs in different languages, such as Hindi, Urdu, Farsi, and French too. He used to sing in Brahmu Shamaj, and Ram Krishnadev was very fond of his singing. Vivekananda used to sing Brahmo Shungi, Brahmo Shungi, Ravindra Shungi, and Shama Shungi also. Listening to his songs, Ram Krishna Dev always became overwhelmed and absorbed in deep trance. In the middle of the 19th century, the mystic, ascetic practice Baal attained their maximum excellence in Bengal. There is unparalleled beauty of open-hearted, self-absorbed singing style in the mystic Baal songs that easily attracts people. Among the mystic poets, we have Lalan Pok Fokir, Dijo Kanai, Gogon Harkara, Hashan Raja, Phikit Chan, that is Kangal Harina, Haurit Goshai, Nagani Dash, Vishu Dash, Gopal Khepa, and many others. The characteristics of the styles of particular zones are stamped on their creations. In some songs of Lalan, the influence of Dhapkirtan may be noticed. Every now and then, hints of various ragas and raginis are suggested subtly, but cannot be recaptured. Dressed in saffron or patched robes or alkalas, wearing jingles on their feet, the bowels sing and dance with typical steps of their style. Using ektara, dotara, anandalahuri, tuk-tuki, flute, etc. as their musical instruments. Like the bhaktos, 
the, the endeavor of the Baal Khat is to preach that Ram called by Hindus and Rahim by the Muslims are not different persons but one and only one and the only way to approach him is through meditation, devotion, singing of hymns and doing pious deeds. People irrespective of caste, creed and religion have joined together in this music. This emission speaks of the real identity of Indian civilization. Bowels hold in their songs of the Hutattu that the human body is the abode of holies wherein the divine is intimately enshrined as the man of the heart. Expressed in simple words, the Bowels songs carry deep spiritual feelings and high philosophical knowledge. There is influence of Vaishnavism, Sufism, Tantric Buddhism, and other syncretic religions on the Baal sect. They call Sri Chaitanya as their Adi Guru in their songs. The beauty of poetics and the devotedness have mingled with compassion in the melodies. We are astonished to find the most Catholic character of these songs free from all narrow fanaticism. In the Baal song of Nodia, we have O oh Lord, you are the Kali, you are the Krishna, you are the Hawk Bari, you are omnipresent, and you are manifesting many forms. A Baal song of Urshidabad is, O oh my hidden soul, why are you so ignorant? Know that all doubts in your mind are baseless. Why do you discriminate between Allah and Hori? The great Lalan Poki has sung against communal discord in a number of songs. Jat gelo, jat gelo bole, eki ajo kar khana. Jat gelo, jat gelo bole. What is this strange workshop manufacturing communal hatred? What community did you belong to at your birth, my friend? What will be the stamp of community when you leave this, leave this world? The Baal worships man and enjoys heavenly bliss. His another song says, Shab ke lalun ke shari. People want to know what is the religion of Lalun. Lalun says in reply, I know not what is the stamp of religion. If circumcision makes a Muslim, what is done to a woman? If Brahmin is known by his sacred thread, how do we know which woman is Brahmin? Lalan uttered, Bhakti Tara Bandha Achin Shan, Hindu Kimba Javan Bole, Tar Jatir Vijarna. Panju a progressive thinker, sings, Why boast of your creed? Does your creed matter at all, whether in this world or the other? I feel like setting fire to all fanaticism. The eternal wisdom shines within the concourse of the millions of humanity. A verse of Narahuri goes, That is why, brother, I became a madcap bowel. No matter I obey, nor injunctions, canons, or custom. Now, no man-made distinctions have any hold on me. And I ravel only the gladness of my well in love. In love, there is no separation but coming in always. So I rejoice in song and dance with each and all. Modern Baal bemoans, the path leading to you is obstructed by temples and mosques. I hear you call, Lord, but cannot reach you because the gurus and mushrims stand in the way. The Baal sing, I would not go my heart to Makkah or Modina. <laughs> For behold, I ever abide by the side of my friend. Mad would I become had I dwelt afar, not knowing him. There's no worship in mosque or temple or special holy day. At every step I have my Makkah and Kashi. Sacred is every moment. The Baal Rajab sings, All the world is the Veda, all creation is the Quran. Why read paper scriptures, O Rajab? Gather ever fresh wisdom from the universe. Take all the creatures of the world into yourself. Drown yourself in that eternal music. That too reminds us, it is because of communal strife that the foreigners have come to rule our country. 
Hindus, Bauthos, Jains, and Muslims became victims of mutual strife. Millions of Indians could not, alas, live in peace and harmony. And that is why the Piringis came and occupied our motherland. He was dead against caste barriers. Whom do you cast out, brother? Because he is lowborn. Maybe it is Brojel Panai in, the, in that guise. In a most underdeveloped village, Kutushi Narikil Tala, situated in the border of Nodia and North 24 Pagana districts, often there were conflicts and disturbances among the people. But an assembly of communal amity called Lalun Mela, starting from 12 December, is organized by Said Malita and Nitananda Dash, where lots of ascetic sages, bowls, and fakirs from various regions of Bengal gather together to sing. It has been able to heal all the communal discords among villagers. No doubt, this striking feature of Bauer music fills us with great reverence for the composers of these songs. Rabindranath Tagore came to close contact, came in close contact with the folk culture of Bengal during supervising his father's zamindari estate in East Bengal. It is known to all how intensely he was impressed by the deep esoteric Bauer philosophy, the vibrancy and the musical appeal of their songs. Most intently he used to listen to their songs and he used to discuss with the mystic poets about their philosophy and way of life. He was fully aware of the Bauer doctrines and endeavored in collecting Bauer songs. In Shantini Kitan also, he had the opportunity of listening to Baal songs of people. In the religion of man, he talked about Monir Manush, that is man of his heart, of the Baal's in detail. He says that these unsophisticated, wandering village singers of Bengal have no images, temples, scriptures, or ceremonials, and they declare in their songs the divinity of man and express for him an intense feeling of love. They live simple life in obscurity and, and give us a clue to the inner meaning of all religions, which are never about a god of cosmic force, but rather about the god of human personality. Rabindranath observed that the philosophy of our traditional Ishopanishad and teachings of the bhaktos of the medieval India have been re-established in the doctrine of Baal sect, not the religious customs and practices of scripture and treaties. In a number of songs, a quarter to 200 in number, Rabindranath adopted the Baal style, sometimes in pure form, sometimes mixed with classical air, sometimes blended with his own original tunes, and sometimes mixed with kirtan called kirtanango baul in an inimitable manner. At the time of Bengal partition movement in 1905, most of his patriotic songs were set to the tune of baul kirtan with the object of reaching, inspiring, and uniting the masses of our country. Later, when our neighboring country, Bangladesh, attained freedom, she chose Tagore's Amar Shonar Bangla as their national anthem based on Gogun Hotkara's composition. such as Dhananjay Boiragi in Prashtipto, Raja, Dada Thakur in Muktodhara, Koritran, etc. He himself acted successfully in some of these roles, for example, the blind Baul in the play Phalaguni. 
that Rabbi Baul has been captured in the picture portrayed by his nephew, the great artist Abhinindranath Tagore. Hiti Mohan Shain, in his The Baul Singers of Bengal, published in Vishwabharati Quarterly and translated by Rabindranath, has sketched the ideas and lives of Baul's in details. Sharala Devi published the biography of Lalan in the Bharati Potrika. Rabindranath also says that the value of most of the modern Baul songs are getting lost. They are being sold in the streets as a cheap commodity of the market. Often they are pursued with the repetition of fixed bones and ridiculous comparisons and metaphors, most of which try to attract people to the Boyragi world. For long years, Baals have been ceaselessly joining the Poshmala and Shantiniketan, Magmala in Sriniketan, or Jaidev Mala, where their songs are of great attraction for people. Not only in Bengal or India, but also abroad, Baal songs are highly appreciated in modern times. These songs, springing out of the core of the heart, show the path of integration, installing a non-communal, liberal spirit among people. From time to time, there have been clashes among various sects or communities over various issues. It is music that often played the role of a powerful integrating factor in resolving these conflicts and established mutual understanding, cooperation, and peace in society. It also inspired self-confidence among people in stressful circumstances. We can only wish and pray that complete integration may not remain a distant dream. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mbushashwabhatikari, for the sweeping um, overview of this very large subject covering three separate and distinct styles or even um, subjects. Very common uh, task. So, um, so, a few concluding remarks. I asked to make a few concluding remarks. And it strikes me is that, first of all, the period that we have surveyed in this session is a, a very vast one, which uh, one uh, end there is the 9th century Tanjapa and the uh, early Sufi contributions of Velana Rumi and other great saints. And we have come up to uh, Lalan Shah and beyond Lalan Shah to Rabindranath, who is a figure in which uh, many of these questions about um, various musical traditions and a natural, as it were, point assimilation. It seems to me that one focal point in today's discussion, this afternoon's discussion, has been the power and the force of these, of certain non-institutional uh, practices or composites of practices, I might call them, which have stood against and resisted fanaticism, conservatism, and have in fact um, expressed this very powerfully from, uh, from right through the tradition and beyond it one likes the examples that we heard, but beyond that, to the Punjab, to Malaysia, and other parts of this vast country. The same, as it were, the same sentiments echo and re-echo in these great songs which are living in our minds. And I hope that they will continue to resonate with equal force. Kabir Das, Alan Shah, Bulesha, Mirabai, they should, they should resonate. And, and as long as it does, I think that we have one thing working for us, one thing in our favor. It also, a point that was made, especially in the first two presentations, I thought very importantly, is that there is um, a certain, a certain 
valorization, a certain excavation of a space of the natural, where which may be expressed as Shahoji or Shahoji, one of our eminent speakers have, have excavated this space and shown that that in in some sense it it is the the as it were, the recourse of nature against repression. These, these, and these practices shape and give form to this need, to this radical moments, the radical moments in human life. It seems to me that this radicalism also is something that we need to carry with us, and this is a lesson that we have been taught. And we need to learn this over and over again, every moment in our lives. I think. There are two other points that I would like to draw from discussions, three discussions that we heard today. And one is something that uh, I think that we can make with the strongest is that, uh, and a point that I rather ineptly made perhaps in, in the morning, is that in um, India, it is the song that has been the repository of the deepest philosophical thought, philosophical cogitation. And it is everywhere, all through our country, from the south to the north, from the east to the west. It has been these songs which have, and the song also is, it is, offers a philosophy. Its, its wisdom is a portable wisdom. We carry it with us. Unlike a book, unlike a library, we carry this with us, and, and this is what any of us who goes anywhere carries this, this repository of songs, and what we remember, whatever we remember. And I think that, that we are, we, in, our, in our country, we are tremendously enriched by constantly having been attuned to and having assimilated over time, whatever way, the, the extreme, the, 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 these points, perhaps, the, the, I'm sure that for many of us, uh, the, the meaning becomes clear as, as we grow older, and I'm sure that for all of us, Ravindranath has meant different things as we have grown older. Uh, we read him one way when we are young, and we, we think of him in a different way when we are old, and so with Nanusha, and so with Kavitas, and so with Mirabai, and so with Akamahadevi, everybody. This is, I think, something that it, it it means something different to us at every stage of our lives. And that is something I think that is, is, the, is the richness of these. Um, and um, perhaps I might end by by drawing attention to because. Um, Listening to the learned discussion today, I was reminded of the fact that perhaps in our minds there is a, a distinction or a dichotomy, which I think is a false dichotomy between the popular the Mughal court and beyond. And it is these these Sufi ideas, these ideas drawn from the Bhakti Gant, which are in some sense indistinguishable. They have blended so so perfectly. So um, in famous composition sung by the Gwalior singers, it is Nandar Turak, the, the, the beloved Krishna, is Turak. Turak, of course, is what Zahra bin Aulia used to call Amir Khosro, Turak Bacha. So this false dichotomy, I think, is this is one way in which we might try to work against this false dichotomy. In practice, perhaps, or in people's imaginations, but to go back to these songs, to go back to Kabirdas, to go back to Kuzro, to go back to Lalusha, is one way we can work against this. And we need to work against this because it is not a question of some forms being prioritized, some forms being higher or lower. And this is false and this is constrictive, and this is killing. And so uh, I think that I at least have learned a great deal from today's session. I'm sure it's been the same for you. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it's truly a, a pleasure 
to see you all once again this evening. And uh, I, I trust that most of you were part of the celebrations here throughout the day while celebrating the 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. Uh, eminent scholars tried to deliberate amongst themselves to search for uh, Indian traditions uh, in search of unity through music. As we all know that music is, speaks a universal language and music is possibly the only, uh, only form of communication which, especially Indian classical music, which uh, doesn't have any divide of religion, caste, creed or colour. Because we have seen Indian minstrels, Hindu minstrels singing in praise of of Muslim saints and Muslim fakirs and vice versa. And uh, uh, therefore, in the fitness of things, in order to pay, uh, pay devotion, pay, uh, pay our respects to Swami Vivekananda, who, who sought and uh, united India as a holistic, uh, in its holistic image, it is important that we pay tribute to him uh, by way of music, A, because he was a wonderful musician, and B, uh, how has music bound ourselves together? And uh, today we have a very uh, eminent uh, group of uh, musicians performing for you. This is, of course, uh, a Dal Vadir Kacheri, and it's a program which depicts the seven stages of life uh, based on Indian music, and this has been arranged and assembled by the very eminent tabla player, Pandit Ovijit Banerjee, and this is called Tanam. And may I now welcome the artist up on stage, please, Pandit Ovijit Banerjee, to lead his team of wonderful musicians. That's Pandit Ovijit Banerjee, who's going to play the tabla, pahavat, and percussion. Snehashish Mojumda, very eminent mandolin player, he's going to play the single and the double neck mandolin. Shoknath Roy on the Ghatam and South Indian percussion instruments, Gautam Show on the keyboard, and of course on the violin, we shall hear Indradeep Kosh. That's Indradeep Kosh. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, before Pandit uh, Abhijit Banerjee, in fact, Pandit Abhijit Banerjee uh, has, uh, has conceived much of the content of the seminar. He is also one of the major brains along with the months of the mission for this uh, two-day seminar that's taking place today and tomorrow. But before I invite revered Swami Sardu Bhutanandaji up here on stage to greet the musicians, it will be uh, proper for me to tell you that even tomorrow after the day-long uh, seminar on, on, on uh, unity in music, we shall have this cultural program tomorrow by the doyen of Karnataki music, Dr. Balaburli Krishnan. Dr. Balaburli Krishnan will, uh, uh, will sing for us bhajan and devotional songs on Swamiji, followed by a jubal bhandi by Pandit Bhartha Bose on the sitar and Pandit Sri Ram Parasuram on the violin, accompanied by Pandit Abhijit Banerjee on the tabla and Pandit Shanata Prashami on the harmonium. But that is for tomorrow, tomorrow at 6 o'clock after this day long seminar. And admission is free. We would invite all of you to come in large numbers with your family and friends. So friends, before we hear Tanam, we shall invite a uh, revered secretary of the Ramakrishna Mission Institute of Culture, Swami Sarva Fudhanandaji Maharaj, to greet the musicians, please. Pandit Ovijit Banerjee, very familiar face in the Vivekananda Hall, a regular feature, we greet it by Swami Sattva Futananda Ji Maharaj. And that is Shomnath, Shomnath Roy, impeccable cotton and South Indian percussion players, Sneashish Majumda, mandolin and double neck mandolin player. Shobhna has been greeted, Gautam Shob on the keyboards. And on the violin, Indrudeep Kosh. 
In search of unity through music, seminary body, Sundarar Almustani, Amra Sobai, Shamiji Ruddeshi, Amadir Taran Grupe, Almustani, Polybation for the Pili, Nidhi Dhono Manapachi, Bhutir Sobai Pokhu Thakir. मिशन के अमरा आंतरिक धन्यवाद जाना चाहिए अमादे ये सुझाव दे रहे हैं अमादे प्रथम निवेदन दिव्येदा